this uh, fancy microphone here so that it cuts out all the background noise and you don't hear my kids running around in the background. Now, um, we're going to get right to talking about how to verify your PayPal account just in case you forgot some of the uh, links or steps you're supposed to click on. Uh, hopefully by now you've actually signed up for a PayPal account and um, you've gone through the process of either adding a credit card, debit card like Master or Visa card um, and or preferably a bank account and the process of getting verified is necessary to become an eBay seller although it's not compulsory if you just want to use PayPal for buying stuff and it's also gives a vote of confidence when you've verified it because it shows that you've got a real bank account or a credit card account attached to your PayPal account. Okay, so let's say you've um, uh, gone through the process of asking to get verified by uh, with your bank account, then what PayPal does within a few days is they put a couple of deposits. And I'll see if I can pop up um, a tool to emphasize what I'm talking about here. Just highlight it. These couple of deposits made uh, in the first week of March and they're actually you can see they're made by PayPal okay um, and it's for a, a random number of amount anywhere from a cent to ten cents okay now this is um, what they want you to verify so they know that it's really you so what you want to do then is to take that information and log into PayPal so I'm going to go into my PayPal account And when you log into your PayPal account, this is the home page you see. Um, some details may have been blurred out for privacy. But just for the purpose of illustration, now normally if you have not been verified, you'll see it here. Status unverified. I'll just see if I can highlight it to show you there as well. Um, so you can probably see here status unverified if you have not done a verified either a credit card or bank account already so what you do is click here where it says get verified now you can see here I've already uh, taken the first step to add a bank account to this PayPal account right uh, yours might talk about it being a, a credit card account. Now, if it's a credit card uh, like a or debit card like Visa or Master, instead of putting a couple of cents into your account, what they actually do is, because they can't just put a few cents in, they charge you two dollars and they show you a code in the transaction and you've got to enter that code so they know that you can see it. And and you if you don't do online banking then you can get this information from your bank or get a um, updated statement of what's happened. Okay, so you can see here the first step's been ticked. The second step, confirm bank account, is what I haven't done, and there is a link that I can do it. And it's actually uh, giving me a little hint to say, check your bank account for two small deposits in two to three days. So I'll click here. Okay, if you notice a little skip in the video, it could be because my internet was taking long, so I've edited the video to make it quicker. Okay, so you see here it mentions uh, the bank account in question. Um, with the last four digits so it can identify if you have more than one bank account and there's two deposit amounts now if we remember it was for six cents and two cents so basically we enter 0.06 dollars and 0.02 dollars okay and it's actually telling you the steps and once we've done that we can submit okay um, have a read through the agreement basically when you verify your bank account or your uh, direct debit I mean your credit card or debit card details um, it also becomes your payment for funding your PayPal account um, if you've got more than uh, just a bank account you can choose from one of them and when you withdraw money from your PayPal account when you make money for eBay or from other means where people have transferred your money you can do a withdrawal and it goes into your bank account Okay, bank funding set up, ready to transfer from your bank. And you can read through that in your at your leisure. And I clicked on continue, and now it's just letting me know that my member status is verified. And that's kind of like a little bit of a vote of confidence to let um, people that might be dealing with your PayPal account know that you're a legitimate person with a real bank account, bank a real credit card. Um, and you're not just a fly by nighter. Now, once again, if you did this with a credit card instead of a bank account, instead of seeing these two small deposits in your bank, you'd see a, a withdrawal for $2 and there'll be some sort of four digit code saying it's from PayPal. And when you go to PayPal to um, uh, verify it, 
it'll be asking you what that code is and you just enter it there. So from here, you can go back to your account and explore around, have a look at some of the features and services. If you have not added a bank account or credit card, then what you need to do is go to profile, a profile link, a menu near the top there under my account tab. And that's where you can add or check your existing accounts, uh, bank accounts, credit cards, and so forth. So let's say I wanted to add a credit card to this as well. I could click here. And it would allow me to also fund my account with credit card if I wanted to use that instead of my bank account. And if I already had a credit card there, then I could also delete it, etc. And you fill in your details and so forth. And so that's all for this video. Uh, and um, we'll make more additional videos uh, on request if you need a little bit of a refresher on any things that we covered during the course.